Did you come yet? Oh, fantastic. Well, when you grow up kind of on the, you know, bottom of the world as the youngest child of, you know, a single mother abandoned by um, their father, um, really doing it quite tough, although we were kind of still in a middle class, you know, there was never any anything spare. I certainly don't think, you know, I had opportunities handed to me in my early days. I think I worked very hard. I didn't get into any of the fancy drama schools and then get the great age. And, you know, I had no um, smooth ride out. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll say the privilege that I did take is, you know, that I'm white and I'm okay looking. Um, and I uh, have been working in an industry that has been, um, you know, that has definitely been given advantages uh, to uh, actors of um, Caucasian race over merit. So I'm sure there are um, jobs that I got cast in where there were better actors than me. Uh, that didn't have an opportunity to be in the room. And I'm well aware of that. And um, I'm very much hoping that that will change. The television show Total Control that um, I co-created last year is I'm a support to an Indigenous lead in Deborah Melman and very proudly, you know, that it's, I, you know, co-created a show for her to star um, and shine because she, for being one of our most awarded actors, has never um, been a lead in her own show. So hopefully that will change. certainly think in terms of intimacy, there is finally an understanding that girls doing sex scenes and men, um, you know, is a very um, raw and difficult uh, thing to negotiate as, a, as an actor. And if you're a young female actor, it's always been extremely difficult. There's always been men asking you to do more uh, than perhaps your, you know, contract allows. Um, but that's just, you know, one aspect. Um, workplaces are definitely more aware and there's very little corporate tolerance to certain behaviours. Yeah. 